Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at how HSL works with individual colors. Uh, we'll start off by looking at it on the color wheel to see how visually we can see what's happening. I'm going to use throughout here, when I hit Control U, that brings up a, an HSL dialog. So let's uh, start off. Here we go with the basic uh, color set, the primary red, green and blue, and then the secondary yellow, magenta and cyan. So let's come up to here and we'll bring up an HSL here. And overall, normally, if we shift this, we can see the whole thing twinkling around like a star. So let's put that back to zero as we shift what the colors are. But what we're interested today in is going up to here and looking at one of these. So let's just start off then with reds. And now when we turn down the saturation, what we see is the red going into grey, which can be a little bit confusing because after all, magenta's got red in it and yellow's got red in it. But it's the way that it works is a limited amount around here will change. Let's switch to another one. Here we go and hit Control U to bring up a an HSL dialog now. We'll do the same thing here. We'll go to the reds and we'll turn the saturation down. Now you can see the colors either side of red, orange and rose. See those are changing as I move this up and down. So this, uh, this, this saturation change, when we're trying to take the red out, yeah, is, is different there. When we go up, see there's not a lot happening up here, but when we're going down here, trying to move it to gray. So in other words, red works to some extent either side of it, but not once it gets into these over here. One of the reasons for this is let's have a look here at if I grab this here, I've got now the, just holding the left mouse down. I go over here, if you look underneath this, you've got the, the red. I can't knock that colour out a bit, so it's mostly red. Uh, but when I get down to here, again it's mostly red and it's mostly green. When we get into the orange, now we've got the difference. The difference that's happening here is the, the green is halfway down, whilst the red is, is pretty much fully up. So when there's a lot of red in it and there's some other colors in it but when we get it all the way turned all the way up with another color it's in other words either side of it there we're getting that effect that's, that there's no change let's try this one more time up here with the color wheel so we see the whole effect so control u and we're going to bring up a wheel here now let's go to the reds and see what happens when we turn down the saturation here. And look what happens. There we go, see, we get an effect either side here. So there's a, like an angle on the colour wheel. There's colours like colours either side of this are affected. And there's a bit of a fade out here. So there's sort of the, the, the effect sort of fades off so you don't get a sharp change. But by the time you get up to here to full magenta and to, to full yellow, it's not having an effect. So it's kind of an angle effect uh, on this. Let's uh, put that back and try this with yellows. So if we turn this down here, there we go, we see the yellow effect. So in other words, when we've got the choice here of the colours in this the drop down here, it's not every single colour all the way around the colour wheel. It's in a step, you know, sticks, you know, it's effectively 60 degrees at a time, but it's it's just the primary and secondary colours that you can get this effect that spreads either side of it. So, and of course you can, as well as shifting to grey, with the luminosity you can shift to black that way to white that way and you can use the HSV in a similar sort of way. 
Let's try this on a real picture. So here's a picture of a morning thing that if I bring up the HSL and let's say for example I'd like it to add a little bit more of the, the, the sunlight effect, the early morning effect here. I click on the master and then come down to yellows and I'm going to what shall I do with this? Let's say I turn this up a bit here. So I'm bringing this up to, so I'm getting more yellows. So in, in the picture here, see the way it turns up around here in particular. And we get it nice up here. But as we're going up here, say we want a heavy effect, we're going to watch out for effects like this in other parts of the picture. So I got this, maybe I want it that much, maybe I want it just a bit down, but I'm still getting this over here. So all I can do with that, I can paint that out with a mask. because so we always have a built-in mask. So if I just go to the paintbrush over here, then it takes the colour black over here. And if I hover over here, you can see it's going to paint this out. So I just paint over here. There we go. I've got rid of that. I'm going to watch out for anywhere else. But I got this strong effect over here. So... And it's hitting not in the yellows, but the colours either side of yellow. So you get a nice kind of faded effect. Okay, do. Hope you enjoyed that. And thank you very much for watching.